Hey everyone, Jeff Teague here, Toyota Jeff Reviews. Guess what, we've got Jeff Westcott here. He's the owner of Westcott Designs. You gonna show us your build? Yeah, love to. Hey Jeff, I'm sure you're very proud of your build, huh? Look at this, everybody. There's so much to see. Talk about being OCD about attention to detail. The little things, the Easter eggs, the little trapezoids, you're gonna love this. So what kind of vehicle did you start with here, Jeff? So this started out as a 2023 TRD Pro Sequoia. Um, we were actually the first retail delivery sale for Toyota. We had about five weeks to build this vehicle. Oh, wow. Look at that. And if you want to see, we'll look at this as we go around, but here is a stock TRD Pro. So it'll be interesting to see what's different. What can you tell us about what's in front, Jeff? So we kind of wanted to make the front look subtle on the front. So we uh, machined all these emblems and then we hard anodized them and red anodized. Um, one of the big things that people ask is, hey, I need recovery points. Are they gonna have recovery points? And so we said, hey, we want them to look like it's got a recovery point without taking away. We want it to look as close to factory as possible. So what we did is we made these recovery points. We actually relocated them out of the fog like buckets. So it kind of matched the contour and it didn't look like we were cutting anything that it would fit right in there. And these actually hard mount right directly to the frame. So they are super functional. They aren't for looks, they're functional. And this um, is actually one of the Easter eggs here, right? Yes, it is. So if you look directly down on the tops of these, the bend on those matches the R in TRD. So it has a little bit to match that and kind of, you can see that. That is really cool. And, we, then and you can just see lightly notice. in the hood, it says TRD just lightly in the hood there. Oh, it is, it's so subtle. And I just want to point out, remember Toyota Racing Heritage, We've got the orange, we've got the red, we've got the yellow. You see that in the Forerunner 40th Anniversary Edition. Well, now you see it here, everywhere. What did you do with the wheels and tires, Jeff? So we kind of have two different themes going on here from one side to the other of the car. We did all uh, black oxide coating uh, hardware on this, 12-point ARP bolts on the bead ring here. And this is a hard anodized uh, bead ring with the set of Polish uh, Innovate G400s. They're out of California, they're made here. Wow. So in the States, and we, and we love to support local or support even uh, state uh, businesses. Um, and then as far as the rock sliders go, this is a zero degree with our top plates. Um, and you can see some of the things we did. We contoured the rock slider here in the front to match the body line of this. Yeah, and then we nice. also did on the back end of it where the fender ends on the back side, we made sure the, the slider ended directly right there. So everything matched exactly on those contours. That's really so. cool. And we'll see as we go around to the other side, it's going to be a different type that you could choose, a different percentage of incline, 20%. So you can see two different visions. And then down here, Jeff, on this uh, rock slider, we did our billet machine top bottle openers here. Obviously, it opens from the bottom side oh, here. Oh, I but didn't even realize yeah, that. Yeah, and just super clean and subtle, but it ties into the red and the, on the bead locks, the front of the vehicle. And I just love customization because yeah. you could go a million different ways with your vision and I just, I can't believe everything so, you did here. Then if you look at all the little designs here in the bead lock or in the ring on the uh -huh. exhaust, it all matches the bead lock on the design in here. So all right angles, all triangular on all that stuff. So wow. it ties in. And then we move up to the roof rack and we did the exact same thing with that. We tied in all the triangles here on the roof rack, all the mounts here. These are all billet machine mounts all triangular as well uh -huh. so and that ties in and then there again we've got our bottle opener i saw that you can never say you don't have enough bottle openers on one of our setups no because it might take like five extra feet to go from one side to the next sometimes you don't even want to get out of your tent when you're opening your bottle yeah i mean why would you want to just reach in and cha -ching. sometimes you get might want to one. celebrate before you climb your ladder into your tent <laughs> this you is know? like a multi-stage process yeah. here of the opening well, so, look at this, so we got a jet ski. So this jet ski that's on here is a 1984 paint scheme. This is actually a factory color that they offered in 1984. And originally that's actually where all this came from was this idea of this jet ski to tie it into the car with the stripes. Um, I know that Toyota uses it as their heritage colors and stuff like that, but at the same time, I wanted to tie the two in together. Wow. So, and if you notice that and the, this jet, is ski, extended the jet ski is actually out the side here, and that's so when you're backing it into the water, you can actually see the jet ski being backed into the water. Boy, and you thought of that. <laughs> um, 
Oh, wow, look at this step here. So the exhaust originally came out through the back of the car here. Right. And so we wanted to take this spot and use it, utilize it for something. So we designed it so it fits the step in, up inside there. So it looks kind of like it was factory, like this was a product. Oh yeah, no, that, it looks like it was uh, supposed to be yeah, that way. Yep, yeah. and we tied some of the coloring in on that as well. Um, we got more bottle. And the nice thing about the bottle opener is you can do it from either side in case. So if you're left-handed, right-handed, we got you taken care of, <laughs> Yes, right? you do. So. Well, look at the logo here. That's cool, it's not blue. So this, we painted this black and we took the logo from being blue and made it red to kind of tie into the colors. This rear filler panel here, we did that. It was satin black. We, we uh, did it in gloss black. Yeah. Um, and actually, when you talk about the next section, I want to just show over here the stock one because remember what Sequoia says, it almost looks like a Sienna in a way, the lettering of this one. Yeah, you can see satin here. You can see, yep, the so, spacing on that. We actually peeled all the emblems off the back. Now we look gonna, what Jeff did over here. This is ridiculous. It's unheard of. So That's not from a Sequoia, is it, Jeff? It is not. We took a 2020 TRD Pro Fender from a Tundra, and we actually cut it out, and we uh, Frenched it in the back of the vehicle there. And we wanted you to question, does that look factory? Does it, is it factory? And yet, it's not. No, it looks like it's supposed to be that way, yeah. and yet, you literally have a Tundra built into your Sequoia. Now, talk about being proud of Toyota where they've gone, where they're going. Let's go places here. I love that touch. And, and, now, how does this and, and close talk up? Talk about going places, going places in a different way, going places on a jet ski. So that's kind of where I was thinking that. So this is all ball bearing in here. So it moves very smooth and very easy. So all I do is I pull the release on the backside here and it swings shut like this. But first, I forgot to close this one up, so I'm gonna grab this one and I'm gonna swing that one shut Yeah, it's, first. Like, a, uh, it's like a Tacoma yep. access cab. You gotta lock, shut one that first. That locks in, yep, it locks in like that. Then you go ahead, swing this shut here. Locks in like that, now everything's locked in. That's amazing, and it's actually, like a transformer. It is, and some of the things that we did for safety is we relocated bumper sensors in the back here. We put brake lights in it back here as well. So you're not abstracting from that, the vision and view on that. All right, so let's come around to this side here. And this is part two of our vision, I guess we can say, because it's a little different from the opposite side, right? Yeah, so this side here, we did all with stainless hardware. Uh -huh. Still running the same brackets, but everything's done in stainless 12-point ARP bolts versus the other side on the black oxide coated bolts. Uh, we actually ran the same exact wheel, but in a red anodized finish with a black bead ring on this side. So. And we did oh, that yeah. because we really want to allow people to see a different look with just different finishes. Uh -huh. And so it kind of gives that look on that. And then this rock slider here, we spoke about the other one on the other side. The other side was done at zero degrees. We did this one at 20 degrees. These are direct bolt on. They bolt up to the frame on these. They use all grade uh, eight hardware on them. Um, they're not, uh, basically there's no uh, welding or anything like that. They're direct bolt on. Um, and people ask, why do we do a 20 degree? And that just gets it to fit a little bit tighter up against the body, gives you a little bit more ground clearance as well. Doesn't quite work as well as a step, but it still works as a step if you want to use it that way. That makes sense. One of the other things we did is we changed the mirror caps on this to a white, gloss white, um, versus the textured or the, uh, the satin finish. That right, you can see and on here's this one right here. For comparison's sake, we're coming around. And we're blinged out in lighting, aren't we? We are. So these are uh, Ridge's new lights. These are the Adapt series. So every one of those lights has a GPS in them. So they basically are speed sensitive. So really? they determine on how fast you're going and how far out they shine. And so they're very, they're very heavy. Uh, they're Which they're makes amazing sense that they're piece. Called Adapt. Yeah, and so <laughs> basically this bracket here has got a gusset designed in the back of it to help so it doesn't get any vibration or movement when it's on the vehicle. Uh huh. So how about suspension? So this does have the factory Fox suspension that it came with. Uh -huh. um, it does have our lift in it. This has got our preload collar that goes on the bottom of the spring perch and replaces the lower spring perch and gives us a little bit more lift in this truck. And this um, would be a three inch lift so in front? So three inch in the front. This one, because of the added weight to the back of the vehicle, uh, we did have to, uh, in the back, we ran an old man emu, uh -huh. medium load, uh, 0.75 uh, rear spring in this. And we also did run our collar with it in the back. So it's got a one and a half width that just to offset the vehicle for its weight. That's amazing. Let's just kind of pan out here so we can see the finished product. Like a proud papa 
and an artist. It's Sweet. beautiful, Jeff. Yeah, thank you, Jeff. Thanks for giving us the time to, to walk around the vehicle. Hey, everybody, thanks so much for watching. Remember, go check out Westcott oh, yeah. Designs yeah. YouTube. How are you, man? Yeah, You're going to love sure. it. It's amazing yeah. what they yeah. do. Thanks so much. See you yeah. next time. Yeah. Peace. Yeah, I